Hello, beloved brothers and sisters. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, our King. So it is a pleasure for me to know that you are uh, a lot out of the day to uh, watch your, your show, this uh, weekly verse. I know that you love it. I know because I have uh, received so many congratulations, so many uh, emails coming from uh, uh, many people, many children of God. And I really enjoyed it and I really appreciate it. And I thank you for it. So welcome at www.adapisingambaministry.org. And today again, um, uh, it is uh, really a pleasure for me to even ask you to subscribe in our YouTube channel for you to receive everything, all the activities that we are doing in Arapis Ngamba Ministries that org why because arapis gamma ministries is a company arapis gamma ministries is something that it's a it's kind of a platform that we are we we build it for you to be blessed and for you to receive any kind of any type of blessings coming from the lord so today in our weekly verse i would like for you to join me in uh, with your bible in uh, the book of philippians in the chapter 4 and we will read in the verse 4 philippians chapter 4 verse 4 here the bible says rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice my brothers and my sisters you know many of these times you know we have so many problems we have so many issues many situations coming uh, on on um, in, in our life until um, sometimes we don't even have joy in uh, our face and most of the time we sometimes we pray we pray we don't even have an answer sometimes we feel like god God doesn't even know us. And sometimes we feel like we are not even his children. And sometimes we are feeling like asking for him even for us to die. Because we see like we are, we don't have any, any way to go out. We don't have any way out into our situation. But today I am coming with this um, word of God to let you know that you are a son and you are a daughter of God. And you have to rejoice in the Lord always. This is what your Bible is telling you that you need to keep that uh, smile in your face you need to be positive you need to believe in the lord you need to know that there is somebody who owns you and that somebody uh, uh, names is the lord jesus christ and he is the strongest man this person will never let you down no matter what the issue that you have i know that it's tough i know that you tried many ways to go out of it you tried to do anything that you could just to get uh, rid of it but still the problem is there still the situation is there but let me tell you something my brother the bible say you need to rejoice in the lord always that means when you are rejoicing this is the cure for your problem so just rejoice try your best to keep that smile on your face because you got some other people who are counting on you you have some other people they are watching the way that you are reacting the way that you are conducting yourself when you are in front of any situation happening in your life so rejoice dear brother rejoice dear sister in the lord always the bible say always that means every single day of your life you need to be rejoicing you need to show your joy to everybody surrounding you because it's going to give hope to other person who is in the same situation like uh, like yours rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice this is what your lord is telling you i know as you are going out this um, this week as you are going to face the situations and as you are going to face all the problems of your your life all the issues i, I don't know eh, 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 i don't know what's the issues that you have maybe it is a health issue i don't know maybe it is um, a, a, a finance issue um, i don't know i don't know what's the type of the issue that you have but i know one thing that the lord jesus is in your side and it will help you out to go out of that situation out of that issue if only you can believe in him and trust him so the bible says, rejoice rejoice in the lord tell your somebody tell your body tell your neighbor tell him to rejoice tell your family tell your brother tell your sister to rejoice and to be uh, joyful every single day the bible says always so always you have to be rejoicing in the lord no matter what the, the bad news that you will receive no matter what's going to come in in your life but still the bible say you need to rejoice my beloved brother said my beloved sister and here we see the prophet of the age our brother william Branham is 
says here in um, his sermon, the time tested faith, he said in paragraph 35, he said, Although we be criticized and called crazy, though you are criticized and people are calling you crazy, they are treating you in any way that they want to treat you, they are mistreating you anyway. But you see, the prophet said, Yet we are sons and daughters of the king. So you have to know it and you have to tell somebody that you are a son and a daughter of the king. And we are aliens, but we know that our father is rich with houses and lands. So even though you are aliens, even though you are poor right now, even though you, are, you don't have a house or you don't have any money or anything like that, but you need to know that your God, your father is rich. The prophet said he is rich in houses and in lands. He holdeth the wealth of the world in his hands. So he got all, all the wealth of the world. He got it in his hand. So you can be rich. Not that you can be rich, but you are rich already. You are potentially rich because your father is a rich man. And here the prophet say, he said, we are child of a king. So you are a child of a king. And he said, let's conduct ourselves like one. Let's conduct ourselves like sons and daughters of the king. And see, the, Bible, the, the prophet said, let's strengthen ourselves up. Let's face the enemy and know that God is our father. Oh my. Brother, you have to face the enemy. I am teaching you to be a revolutionary somebody. You need to, to, to face the enemy. And knowing that God is your father and knowing that God is on your side and knowing that God will take your side anyway. And here the, the, the prophet continues to say, he said that uh, our father, God is our father and he is the king. And he said, though uh, we are in the world of fashion and education and, and theology, that has nothing to do with it. So no matter what, 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 what kind of world in, in what we are living, it might be a word of fashion, a word of theology, education, or, or whatsoever, but still that has nothing to do with the fact that you are a son of the king. Amen. And the, the prophet says, stick your chest out. Walk forward. Believe God. Certainly. And believe him. And have an experience when you are born in that royal family. And know that God is on your side. And nothing will come. Nothing will bother you. Because God is rich. He is your father. He is the king. He is everything to you. So be comfort uh, with um, uh, this word. Since you are going to uh, you are you are going to start your week. I want you to be a uh, uh, positive. I want you to be powerful. I want you to believe that God will help you out to come out of all the issues and the situation that you are facing. Go out and face the enemy. Put bring your chest out, knowing that God is your Father and God will defend all your cause. May God bless you. Have a wonderful week. A big shalom in your family. A big shalom in your house. A big shalom in everything that you are going to uh, to do in this week. And uh, I, I believe that we will meet again next week. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you again.